In this video, we will be talking about chart of the week for Australia market listed in ASX. And today, I just want to uh, call out the date, which is 21st of August 2021. So that if you're watching this video later on, then you know exactly on which date I am doing the analysis for the stock. And it, the stock which we're going to be talking about is currently in a very, very, very strong position. And I see at least 30% upside from a current price. I will be sharing with you the my analysis for the Australian index, main index, X, XJO, and the key levels. We'll talk quickly on that before we jump into the chart, chart of the week, where I'm going to be talking about the both technical and fundamental analysis, detail analysis for that particular stock. At the end, I'm going to be sharing my view, both for short term and long term view of that. Without further ado, uh, let's get started. My name is Shivendra Bhatia and I'm a founder of Peaceful Weekend Investing Hub to make investing easy and accessible for busy professionals like you. And just before we dive into the details, I want to put through the disclaimer. Please read through this carefully and move before moving forward. Thank you. Let's start with the first section of this uh, video by looking at the XJO, which is an Australian uh, in ordinary index uh, for 200 uh, shares and I have marked the key levels here as you can see for last and this is a daily chart daily chart and I'm just doing some analysis on daily chart to get more perspective so for last couple of trading sessions as you can see um, the index has been in downward trajectory and I have marked some key levels here um, I am seeing the good support coming in at um, 7368.3 and another one in 7204. If it, that also breaks, then we can see the levels of 6924. And it is our some key levels I'm tracking through at this moment. And But overall, overall, the index is a nice uptrend. I don't see any change in the trend. As you can see, there was a good consolidation before it had a decent rally. And now kind of the retracement back is happening. But if you look at on the weekly chart, uh, let's look at it. As you can see, and I have given some, if you follow me on trading view, I have given um, my analysis when it broke this uh, pre-COVID um, price and then thereafter uh, the kind of retracing back. So I don't see any, you know, major significant uh, downtrend, but these are the key levels I'm tracking. Q. So let's start with the stock itself, which we're in the question. The stock which we are going to be talking today is Telstra. Now, I posted uh, my view on Telstra in January 27, 2021 and about details of why I thought Telstra was a great investment at that moment of time. And follow on with that, I after six months, on I posted again another update on this on updated chart. If you are not following me on Twitter, you can follow me at the red Bhatia Shavindra. I keep sharing a lot of great insights and also the investing uh, ideas which I am looking at it both for Australia market and other global market which I invest in. Okay, so this is just, it is not the first time I'm talking about this Telstra, but the video I'm making it for first time because I see that it has reached to a key level where I see a great potential from here on. So let's talk about quickly about the, uh, the stock performance over different time period. As you can see on the chart below uh, on, the, on the slide here, the stock has been uh, in uptrend from the five day, one month, three months, six months, one year. And from last uh, five years, it has been a wealth destroyer of 26%. And all time it has been 36%. So Telstra has not been a great compounder or has not able to maintain the performance, which um, uh, if somebody was invested for long term. But given that I gave the... I entered into the stock in just in time when it started giving great performance. So 
from the point when i recommended i think it is around 26 or 30% up so we kind of got the most of the gains which if you would have invested from the start you would still would have been in 36% gain so that's that's the power of blending technical and fundamental analysis so let's let's talk about the key fundamental points the stock currently is um the overall market cap of this stock is around 34 billion dollars so it is kind of a large a large cap stock listed in australia market and i think it's it it is in the in the current juncture it it has a lot of um, growth coming forward and the stock is currently trading at 52 week high which is from last one year it is trading at the highest point which is a good sign and what is important is stock has been listed in australia market from 1997 i will go not go through all of these details because i'll be covering up in the some of the latest um market report which it telstra has uh, reported for the year ending 2021 so let's go straight into the um my trading view um screen as you can see i have telstra daily time frame so i just wanted to give you the link of the tweets which i posted on 26 january 2021 and then i did a full on post on uh, twitter um that was on 3rd of july 2021 with my further updates on it and from that update also the stock has gone up um, significantly or it has made a good uptrend when i initially entered in the stock i i took always when i enter i make sure there is a complete line of control where where i think i will not be holding my position and cut down so i already made the position saying that around $3 2.97 was my but i do uh trade based on a weekly a weekly chart but this i'm sharing with you so that you get a better perspective is that i i made it uh Uh, at the time of entry i i took um, stop loss of $2.97 and then i was looking at decent upside from there on so that was my trading plan so let's try to look at it what did i made the analysis so when i gave the analysis this is as you can see uh, the title was telstra restructuring question is question on the uh, on the growth side which is where at that moment of time i thought the growth was not there but the telstra management has done kind of restructuring with their t22 plan and i was seeing that there on they will have a better improvement on the financial of the company and i was doing some kind of ground check with my friends who are part of the company and it was uh, all looking good so i and as you can see here the stock was kind of at the moment making double bottom and then there was quite a good demand zone for um from may 2018 and then it touch again in november 2020 and then it was moving up but there was a supply zone coming through so i was waiting for it and then what happened after that was the stock literally went as per the analysis because i put the hit the um in the resistance zone which is a weekly resistance zone and now stock i'll be talking through more in detail what i feel going forward and what's my view as a probability going forward again this is not a certainty but again when i did the analysis i'm just kind of looking at both fundamental and technical and it just went as per the book and um, at that moment of time i was closely tracking it i knew that 5g is coming through so there is a lot of other um uh, researching was one of the key things and the telstra is planning big on 5g in australia and their dividend policy also they reviewed and they brought down the dividend so that they can cut down on their debt and basically also um simplify their business model which was a key element of their uh, restructuring so recently telstra announced the buyback of shares and this as you see on 12th of august so they kind of made a sale a uh, sale of their tower um as per their t20 t22 t22 uh, plan they they basically have uh, let go their infrastructure tower business and whatever the the, the proceed they got uh, with the transaction value around 5.9 billion they kind of returned Uh, 50% to the shareholder as form of buyback and remaining they were going to be using uh, to reduce the debt 
okay so that is good science at least uh, the the business model has been uh, kind of the revamping so it is good so they are doing a re buyback of 1.35 billion now recently when the, the full year 2021 results was um, shared on the stock exchange and i want to share some of the key points uh, for for that particular um, outcome of this slide i'm not going to go in detail of it but i'll share the links if you want to go through that by yourself but i will share something very important points which i think are the key so there is a turning point on the financial trajectory so they're on management is expecting that the financial trajectory of the company will be good because they're kind of uh, implementing the t22 strategy uh, we have and, and they have been completely focused on delivering that and so basically they have radically simplified the business model that says itself a lot right so there's uh, i know that i've done some channel checks on this they kind of have they have made their own shows and and they have simplified the business model so now there is no more lock in periods so a lot of changes have come in if somebody who's tracking this company or own um, have the uh, telstra connection and productivity uh, targets on track and they do, they have also recently restructured their whole um, legal entities as well which was uh, which is also uh, there on the internet you should go through that so they have simplified that now next strategy update they will do in september 2021 which i'm looking forward for it and moving on further this is some of the financial highlights obviously it's in um, we are in lockdown here in australia so i'm not expecting um there will be some hit and headwind on that but i'm sure as the as australia and opens up then they will have a, a good uptick there so this is some of the operating highlights they are uh, going with the mobile strategy to continue to deliver the growth i think that's the main area of growth where they want to have the post uh, postpaid connections and with the 5g is their main um approach so i think with this they will definitely have um a good growth coming through and now the one of the area which i have um, noticed that they and personally i'm I've, i was a telstra internet user and i was absolutely not happy with the customer experience and they have and, and good to see that they have put this on their forefront to increase the nps score for the customer and which is great and i think um, that will definitely you know change the perspective um, and they have been continued and cost reduction which is uh, drastic cost reduction by um, reducing the workforce streamlining their stores and their uh, partners i think recently they let go all of their partners telstra partners and now most of them are company owned um so that's the um, and a uh, uh, building value so this is area we should watch out for because these are more of a different uh, business segments where the i see growth like for example enterprise which can be another growth area telstra health recently they made announcement of one of the um a thing they made announcement to buy out a company in health which could be another growth area and then this telstra venture to invest in the startup uh, Uh, ecosystem so i i'm expecting there will be a lot of value shareholder value created out of this so i'll keep a close watch on that um so a beta growth uh, has been half but now there is sequentially there is a growth so i i'm expecting that from here on um the trajectory will be upwards and also that's what um is the guidance and ambition as well from the management um let's me go through the slide 5 so this is the t22 uh, basically target 22 achievements up to date so they kind of expecting all the restructuring and this particular program to be completed by 22 and their main areas was simplification and digitization which i think and the ways of working making leaner simpler and easy working productivity to increase network leadership basically they want to have maximum network all over australia so that way they have the leadership position and then the infrastructure business which kind of they let go that and because that was a non core business 
to so that they can cut down their debt and make their balance sheet stronger they kind of completed 80% of it and uh, some of them areas are on track which is good uh, they're sharing all of the details this is more details of each and every area so i think which given a lot of information here which is great um I'll, what i will do is i'll go straight into slide 51 and see how are they uh, what are the main areas so as you can see here their incomes are divided into mobile which is postpaid uh, prepaid mobile broadband internet things and wholesale and then they have some hardware sales um, and then their fixed line connections and the enterprise uh, area and NAS and the wholesale um, fixed wholesale connectivity. So this is broadly the, their revenue uh, breakup is. And I think at this moment in time, I will not go much in detail because they're kind of restructuring and because of the 5G network, they've done a lot of um, upfront cost. So which kind of you know um i would say sorry let's go back so from here on uh, they have indicated the uh, the investments on the infrastructure will be less so the focus will be delivering the shareholder value and the growth of the company that's what the um what i understand by reading to the annual report now let's quickly go through the weekly chart of telstra now as i as shared with you these as you can see the stock made double bottom which is a good sign because the uh, after the double bottom the stock has uh, kind of uh, rallied so and also as you can see here on the volume chart there has been a good volume for the last couple of weeks because it's a weekly chart and weekly chart generally we analyze it for medium to long term three to one year three months to one year so that's very important so each of the candlesticks are a weekly candlestick and the stock has closed in a very strong note um, as you can see the previous high of the stock was as you can see here if you can see the high low close uh, and open so previous high of stock was 401 and the stock and i consider weekly chart because as part of my peaceful weekend investing i'm only looking at week, uh, weekly charts and monthly chart stock managed to close above that which is a great significance for me which is four dollar two and zero two cents which is a good sign so for if i have to look at it and quickly draw some of the uh, lines uh, here so this was one of the resistance area which i'm expecting so my target first target has been achieved and now we are looking at uh, these are the key areas uh, which which i would watch out for in terms of if i am holding stock so anything below so i keep trailing my stop losses and move forward so now from here on i'm at least expecting this stock to go um if it managed to it, it managed to cross um and stay um this line will become kind of more of a support now at the moment it's looking at resistance and again it's a probability it might can go back again in this channel or it it'll go up here most likely probability is the stock should move higher from here on given that fundamental analysis is also indicating that way but again that's again a probability and i'm expecting the first level of five dollar 29 and i wouldn't be surprised that stock would go all the way up to uh, the previous high which is six dollar 49 and and the seven so which is so i see a good potential from here on thank you for watching the video if you like the video do give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you didn't like the video you can give a thumbs down on also i will urge you if you can share some comments some of the key takeaways area of improvement i'm personally going to look at each and every comment and respond to it 
and also you can connect with me on my telegram channel which is a free and where i share a lot of investing uh, insights for australia market and also the global market per se and you can join with the link below here sbhatia.co slash telegram and if you want to connect with me on other social media handle like instagram um, twitter or linkedin or facebook you can uh, go into the link sbhatia.co.bio slash bio peaceful weekend investing vip member group and also um, once you hit the bio link sbhatia.co dot uh, co slash bio you will get to this page where you can connect to and uh, connect with me in any of my social media with that thank you very much once again and i'll talk to you soon be safe bye